Okay, so this is now my third take of doing the unboxing of my Evo 64 board. Whatever happened earlier, I took the video, but then when I played it back, you couldn't hear any of the audio, something up with the really crappy camera I'm using. So I redid the audio, and then that failed, so now I'm doing it the third time. So let's just get into it. Um, I wanted to do an unboxing. Actually, I wanted to sort of document the entire build process uh, once I get the, the board set up and completed. I don't think anybody's done an unboxing of an EVO board. Not, not a lot have actually received them, uh, so that's probably why. But I thought I would just share with you guys what comes in a box, depending on, of course, what you order, and uh, we'll go from there. Uh, okay, so let's see. So I'm basically narrating my original video here. And we will open the box with my trusty X-Acto knife here. Uh, being careful not to damage any of the contents inside, of course. Yeah, the, it was quite a process getting the board. I'm just glad it finally came. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole the logistics of it. All right, so open up the board very well. Packaged, nice and professional. You're given this uh, postcard. On the postcard, uh, it says thank you for your purchase. There's a uh, QR code on the front of it here. This will take you to the documentation uh, for your build. Which, by the way, I've already gone through a fair bit of it. Uh, excellent detail. If you're a do-it-yourself or build, builder like myself, I love doing this stuff. Uh, very detailed documentation. Daryl's done an excellent job. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think even if even if this is you know not your area of expertise and you want to give it a shot, I think they've really covered off all the essential uh, components here. So the board, the, the card's really cool. Um, obviously got the, the new tube 64 and the triode logos on the other side. And I don't know what I'm doing now, holding it up. Okay, this first thing. I was super excited when I was put the order together. It was like, I felt like I was going through the uh, Christmas wish book from the 80s. Yeah, man, all these toys that I wanted, and finally, I could just buy whatever I wanted. And in here is this Evo 64 coffee mug. And I, when I saw it, I go, I have to have that. I don't think you can have enough coffee mugs in your house. I don't know about you. Uh, I like me a cup of joe, and um, so I use them all the time. I thought, yes, I'm getting this. This is too cool not to have. So there you go. I have the Evo 64 mug. Uh, next we have the main package here. Very well uh, packaged, by the way. You will see. I'm going to fast forward through a couple of these sections of me trying to get into the package. Uh, very Fort Knox. Kryptonite wrapped. Uh, it's, it, it's very well. Very well wrapped. Very professional. Love it. Right here we have, and obviously I did a terrible, my camera positioning is not great. But this, this here is the new Tube 64. I mean, what can you say? The whole point of this board, I think I've talked, I'll talk about it in a little bit, is, is really, is the audio. I mean, it really takes the audio of the Commodore 64 to the next level. And these preamp modules you can buy, the new Tube 64, the the triode tube are just they're totally insane they are absolutely insane but if you're an audiophile uh, and i wouldn't even call myself an audiophile i really but maybe i am i love old stereo equipment i love repairing it and got a big setup with an old uh, audio system but let's look at this board it is the sexiest thing ever and this is going to take your SIDS to the next level. I can't wait to put this together. Uh, and filter through, or, or sorry, pump the audio through one of my uh, one of my old amps. I think it's going to be amazing. 
And we keep this nice and safe. You can see the little standoffs in there. That'll uh, that'll be for mounting it inside your, your case. And okay, next box. Next box is the do-it-yourself builder's bomb. Inside this is the bomb. Uh, so these are your basic parts. Uh, you okay, essentially you need the basic one. If you're ordering it, there's sort of the advanced parts or premium parts. I believe you need at least this. So first we've got the port pack. This is going to be your joystick ports, your cartridge ports, <clears throat> and what have you. Now we've got the pin pack. So the pin pack, these are all the pin headers. Uh, they go in various spots on the board here. Uh, now, I believe you can replace a number of the pin out, like pin headers with dip switches. And I think I'm going to do that. I didn't, didn't jump on the premium kit that had the pin headers. Or sorry, the, the dip switches. I'm going to do, I, I wanted to kind of get a feel for how the board's going to be set up and where I might be able to take those to the next level with some other type of switching. Uh, this is your socket set. So this is your standard socket set um, for your uh, the CPU, the CIA chips, everything. Um, all the chips you need to supply that don't come with the board. You need the actual chips from an original board here or you know aftermarket. Uh, double sand your standard double white sockets okay the power pack so the power pack has the power connectors an inductor there I believe what else we got in there um, power switch okay I don't know what else I'm talking about there I think I'm looking for the the voltage regulator, because I got the updated voltage regulator. I think it comes a bit later here. Okay. Chip kit. So these are the chips that are supplied with your Evo. Uh, in here, you will see the PLA. So it's an aftermarket PLA, custom built for this board. It is, check this thing out. It is, it is something else. Very, very cool design. Believe flashable if I'm not mistaken. So if they ever need to make software changes to it. There's the Evo EEPROM. Uh, so that's going to be uh, where your ROMs go. Um, switchable ROMs. And there's the clock circuit and an SRAM chip there. What's next here? Oh, okay. so this is the premium socket set. As you can see, I'm just pointing to the label. I also added uh, an Evo label that will go in my case. And get this bad boy open. And inside here we have... So this here is the voltage... Uh, no, that's the label. Voltage. The, the new 5 volt voltage regulator. This is a low noise, um, <clears throat> very power efficient. Uh, low heat, uh, so it should really help with the audio on this system. And here's your premium sockets, your Aries sockets. Now I went for the whole socket set. I think maybe getting all the 40 pin sockets were a bit overkill because the CPU, the CIAs, I have no intentions of swapping those out on any regular basis. The VIC, however, Switching between PAL and NTSC, um, and and the SIDs, definitely I think I would swap out from time to time. Uh, so just sort of illustrating that here, these are super cool. Like these low profile sockets are amazing. Yeah, so that's what I'm talking about. That that's what I'm trying to say here about the SIDs. I would definitely swap those out. At the top there is your zip socket for the Pro. It is not low profile. My understanding is there is no 20 pin low profile area socket. Because definitely that one 
you're going to be uh, replacing from time to time when you, when you need to flash it. So, anyways, amazing. S super cool stuff. Can't wait to start building it together. Okay. Now, uh, we get into your, uh, the main event here. Here's the board. Now, I'm going to just fast forward here because it takes me forever to get this thing open. Okay, here is the boar. Like, I mean, this thing, it is beautiful. It's really, you know, quite an amazing uh, design. Very professional. I mean, when you think of it, it's a totally insane. Uh, when you think about the Commodore 64 and what it is, and it, it is absolutely insane. Very modern and, and, and just so cool. And as re redo boards or new boards are go I mean, this is very unique aside from say like a u64 uh, th this thing is just off the charts it takes i love what the focus of it it takes the most amazing thing about our commodore the sid and just turns it up to 11. you know it just is amazing and i can't wait to start building this thing the build quality is, is beautiful on this. Uh, I've got big plans to add some other circuitry to it. Uh, I think I'm just going to lay out all the parts here. I think I forget to put the actual YouTube next to it. But, uh, yeah. So this is it. This is the unboxing of my Evo 64 board. Can't wait to start building. I think it'll be some time before I get this done, just between work and everything. And I want to take my time. Like I said, I want to document it because I know you guys are anxious to uh, see more of these high quality videos. Uh, I mean, look at this. Look at the quality here. I might even add music. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, so I thanks for watching. Uh, I hope I hope you had some fun with this. Uh, th this is a cool project. It just is an amazing project. I can't wait to start working on it. Alright guys, thanks very much.